वेलकम टू द गाप्स फाइनेंशियल रिस्क मैनेजर पार्ट टू कोर्स दिस कोर्स इज ब्रॉट यू बाय अपना कोर्स डॉट कॉम इन एसोसिएशन विद रेडियन कंसल्टिंग आई एम संजय चौधरी प्रिंसिपल रेडियन कंसल्टिंग सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स विल स्टार्ट अप विद मार्केट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इन द पार्ट टू एंड वी विल discuss about various topics related with market risk management and its applications and at the end we will discuss few uh, problems and the solutions uh, which is uh, in line with what typically the gaps uh, financial risk manager part 2 examination uh, asks about So to start off uh, with market risk management and measurements, we'll focus on few important stuff. And to start, uh, basically, what is market risk management to start off? So market risk management, as uh, we might be aware of, uh, all about absolute and relative risk. So which is absolute risk focuses on the volatility or total returns. and relative risk is referred to as a tracking error now when you talk about market risk management first term which comes in to the picture is market so market essentially means the financial markets and due to the fluctuations in the prices in the financial markets the risk or uncertainty which is there in the financial world is often referred to as market risk management or it comprises part of the market risk management study now what are these uh, risks associated with various uh, market data variables so as far as market data variables are concerned there might be data variables as equity prices there might be data variables as uh, interest rate changes there might be data variables as like uh, foreign exchange rates there can be data variables like uh, volatility there can be data variables like uh, change in price of various commodities and so on so forth market risk management also deals with directional and non directional risks so directional risks are linear risk exposures and non directional risks are risks that have non linear exposures like derivatives which will uh, focus on speculation as far as how the non-linearity comes into the picture in various markets one basic form of non-linearity of risk arises in particularly in fixed income instruments where uh, as you might have already known that price in relationship has got a inverse relationship and uh, it is not a linear it's not directly proportional there is a convexity stuff which means that the change in price with respect to change in yield at various points of time or various places in the curve are not equal so that uh, brings into the picture the nonlinearity in the exposures we talk about the really basis risk which is a risk that the price of a hedging instrument and the price of the asset being hedged are not perfectly correlated So suppose we have a, a underlying bond price, and to hedge that uh, price of the bond, we get into a derivative deals uh, like a swap. So the bond prices move in different way as the swap prices, and there's obviously a risk associated between the. fluctuation the bond prices with uh, respect to the swap prices which uh, leads to a basis risk and uh, this kind of risk is also very evident in various kinds of swaps uh, in the market uh, where the, the two legs are based on two different floating rate benchmarks like for instance uh, LIBOR or MIBOR. So the LIBOR and the MIBOR they do not move in 
in Canton, which arises, uh, which leads to the rise of basis risk in this uh, case. The other form of risk is essentially volatile to risks. So it's the risk of loss uh, from changes uh, in uh, actual or implied volatility of market prices. We'll touch upon the difference between actual and implied volatility slightly later in this uh, discussion. Uh, as of now, just understand that uh, volatility essentially means the fluctuation of uh, prices. So be it the fluctuation of uh, equity data, equity prices, be the fluctuation of uh, interest rates, be the fluctuation of uh, the underlying FX uh, spot rates, be the fluctuation of underlying credit spreads, be the fluctuation of uh, underlying commodity prices. So that, that amounts to what is called as a volatility. And this fluctuation of this underlying uh, market data leads to a risk which is what is called as a volatility risk.